you know you must have seen that most medical schools are either a part of a bigger hospital or are quite adjacent to it uh, with the same intent in 1984 union minister bharat ratna shri c subramanyam established the bharat dasan institute of management which is well known as bim trichi amongst the peaceful aspirants bim trichi came up within the complex of bharat heavy electricals limited to make sure that the able managers are produced by keeping them closer to one of the biggest industries of its time the institute also has partnerships with government organizations like drdo the interesting fact its very first board governors were the likes of dhirubhai ambani dr ij patel v krishnamurthy and c subramanya over three decades later how does this b school look like now in terms of its academic pedagogy its students its industry connect and a lot more to understand more about that uh, i have a student from the institute who would guide me through to understand it better hi gayatri thanks for joining us hi paul it's my pleasure Gayatri, uh, let's get straight into it. You know, tell me a little bit about yourself, your profile. Where do you belong? And uh, when you were deciding that you wanted to do an MBA, why did you choose BIM Trichy? I'm a student of the commerce background, and I have a couple of years of work experience at Deloitte as well. And uh, which is when I realized that it's not only uh, I need to have more feathers in my cap. because i need to have a masters degree in my hand for me to scale up the ladder for me to gain more exposure and which is why i chose bim trichy because bim trichy's profile attracted me most amongst all the other colleges that i got into prior and uh, which is more on the lines of how rich its culture can be how varied its curriculum is and when i did my research as an mba aspirant uh, it seemed the most a challenging as well as most convenient option for me and given given, given bim trichy's legacy right. i think i've made the right decision in my path gatri there is a very interesting uh, you know term at your b school mm-hmm. that uh, you guys boast about and that's called uh, creating pie shaped professional what exactly is that okay so this pie shaped professional program that we have at our college it's through a very well crafted architecture and program architecture is what i'm referring to and which nurtures our students in that prepares us for the business of tomorrow and if you see the format of pi the symbol as such the top horizontal line that kind of it represents the core subjects and the electives that are offered and which makes us into a strong generalist course it gives us a spread of subject knowledge across various specializations we we have offer five major specializations finance marketing operations human resources and digital business and analytics so across these five areas we are offered a lot of knowledge in our first year so that we become a strong generalist and then moving on the two pillars of pi the first one it, uh, denotes the technological applications that we have in the in the specialization courses and with the second pillar it denotes the courses that help us imbibe human values and understand the spirits of sustainable development goals and build resilience and strength to take on the uncertainties can you tell me a little bit about how the campus life is how big exactly uh, is the campus that you live in what are the kind of facilities that are there and how lively is the life there campus always has a happening life going around there and one major major plus point here would be great food that comes with even greater company and i think that would sum it up perfectly because our mess committee is 100% student driven and it does not have any management involved in running that committee so when they are preparing menus which happen to be very varied and which happen to be very very delicious and we also carry uh, a lot of active fun activities like sports activities cultural activities something or the other keeps happening we carry and we see ourselves as a student run institution first and then where we involve students to be a part of these clubs and committees and to keep the students engaged uh, every now and then there is an event and the very recent one we call it the gracia 
which was organized by Kalaikam, which is the cultural committee of the IM Trichy. And it is the official event wherein the seniors hand over the club to the juniors in a very satirical manner. And uh, the, the sports committee also organizes an event called the Arya Memorial, which Arya Memorial Trophy, which is an exclusive cricket tournament which happens usually around the time of February. And those are just two in the list of many, many events that we have throughout the year. Gayatri, uh, you know, when you are part of a B school, uh, there are a lot of competitions, there are a lot of, uh, you know, events that you take part in and uh, that becomes a regular part of your B school life. Is there any uh, significant achievement that your students have uh, gone through this particular year or, uh, you know, in, in the last 5-10 years that you can recall? So, again, like you said, when we talk of B schools, the life is more about uh, one's overall personal development. So, this doesn't stop with just textbooks and academics and rather it extends to participating extensively in intercollegiate events as well as global competitions. And uh, we at bim have regularly participated in global capstone simulation called CAPSIM where students from renowned institutions across the globe participate. And uh, we battled with premier B-schools in USA, Israel and our IAMs like IAM Bangalore and we stood third globally last year and we have been consistently ranked among the top five global competitors every year in the previous I think 10 years and BIM Prichy hosts this national level competition fest uh, it's called Krasita and where we see extensive participation from various institutions across India Right, uh, Gayatri, uh, you know, I have heard that uh, the campus itself is a part of uh, BHL. So, is it within the BHL campus? How is it? Like, where is it located exactly? Help, uh, help our audiences to understand that. So, in Tiruchirappalli, which happens to be a town in Tamil Nadu, there is the, the Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. They have their own complex there. And inside one such huge community is where this BIM Trichy's campus stays where we have the hostels and we have the mess hall and we also have the academic block. So, at this point, uh, Gayatri, I would like to know exactly what are the kind of programs that are available on campus and uh, in each of these programs, which is the, what is the batch size that we are looking at and for each of these programs, what is the fees uh, that a student needs to incur? Usually, in these schools, you'll find a large number of batch friends and by large, I mean easily about 300 to 400 on an average. But uh, BIM Trichy, we focus on 120 students per batch and uh, as I mentioned earlier, BIM Trichy does offer the five-based curriculum thing. And along with this five-based curriculum, we have labs that provide hands-on experience on technology integrated core courses delivered through several centers of excellence that we have like the financial trading and analytics center the real-time contextual marketing lab and the center for operations excellence as well as sustainable development goals. Students are performing BMC as well as NSC smart trading simulation certifications and salesforce.com certifications. So all the courses that I've mentioned so far right now they all form a part of the residential MBA program that we have and it's just the one course that BIM PG offers and it costs close to 15.7 lakhs after laying out these uh, things about the courses, about how what you need exactly to be part of it, uh, I would like to know what is the admission process that I'm looking at. Is there a cutoff, uh, is there a strict cutoff for students that you know below this score you would not be considered, or uh, there are specific focuses on the profiles while the selection is being made? The admission process usually kickstarts around late November or early December, where aspirants can enroll themselves and with an application form. So previously we used to accept only CAT scores, but uh, this year on this year onwards we accept CAT, ZAC as well as GMAT scores. With this, we are trying to provide a wider opportunity for the candidates to give in their best attempt. And after like careful shortlisting of application through their scores, applicants are then called for group discussion and then later for a personal interview process. And uh, BIM Prichy provides SBI loan scholar loans to students who are in need of loans so that their financial assistance is also taken care of and they will get collateral free loan till 20 lakhs. Gayatri, when we talk about a B-School, uh, student exchange program or emotion programs are something that students look forward to, right? Is there something that uh, BIM Switchy part of? 
uh, student exchange programs no but when we talk of corporate immersion programs and social immersion programs so our corporate immersion programs and social immersion programs we give them an understanding of how the corporate world works before they jump right into the placement processes and uh, this is a period between the first year and the second year where mandatorily you have to go for internships and uh, this is prior to them deciding on what they want to specialize in can you tell me the names of some of these alumni members you are definitely look up to and the kind of industry that they belong to and what is the kind of alumni support that you receive every year hmm. uh, as part of the students of the mh uh, we do have mr prakash malia who is the managing director at intel india and who is also the vice president of sales marketing and communications group at intel and we also have mr t r ramchandran who is the group country manager of india and south asia at visa and mr arvind rp who is the director and director of marketing and digital and communications at mcdonalds we have mr sid r sadatkar who is the managing director and the market unit lead at accenture so all of these accomplished luminaries and alumni help us throughout our journey in the pim trichy campus the alumni have been actively engaging with the students through a series like weekend devour and bim leadership series so throughout these programs we have active conversations with them and we get to clarify any anything and everything that happens during the recent trends and we also talk about the future potential of certain industries and how all we can expect changes tell us a little bit about the placements how does the summer and final placement figures look like and what are the companies that visit on campus so bim prachi not only offers executive placements but we also provide like corporate immersion program like i said before uh, students get to work with leading industrial specialists and this enables them to gain that industry exposure and that practical experience so tiger analytics sbi capital asian paints icici bank uh, there are few of our prominent recruiters for our corporate immersion program uh, we generally agree that transparency is the basic virtue for any organization's prosperity right and we had examined our arrangement record by crisl according to the iprs and our report is this guaranteed and a valid and authentic one with no expanded qualities the highest package that remains around 17.45 lakhs per annum if i'm not wrong and the average package remains at around 10.46 lakhs per annum for the batch of 2020 to 2022 and uh, this average package for the top 25% should be around 14 lakhs per annum and the top 50% should be around 12 lakhs per annum and uh, we do have a pool of our conspicuous enrollment specialists like unilever and vedanta asian paints like i said accenture cognizant infosys icici bank eygds tvs motors sbi capitals o9 solutions stocraft among like new, numerous other very noticeable scouts lovely uh, gayatri thank you very much for giving us a guided tour of this particular institute again as i mentioned it would have been great if you would have uh, you know Uh, been there uh, talked about the mm-hmm. campus while uh, you know looking at some of the places that you always go through in day uh, i hope that uh, that day also comes very soon for you guys and the people who are joining next to this particular institute uh, if you want to know more about this particular institute there's a link in the description below you can check that out and do tell us in the comments below how you like this video and what else would you want us to make next thank you very much